Hello Year 6. I hope you all had a lovely half term. I know I did. I had a few lay-ins. I hope you did too. So today for our English skills lesson we're going to be talking about hyphens. So I just want to share a PowerPoint with you. Now our aim today is to use hyphens when necessary to make words and writing clear. Your steps to success are that you can identify where and why hyphens are used in a text. You can recognise when a hyphen should be used. You can explain how hyphens can be used in different ways to make meaning clear. And you can rewrite a sentence using a hyphen to avoid ambiguity. Now a hyphen is a punctuation mark that looks a little bit like a horizontal line and there's one on the screen for you on the left. Hyphens can join together words or parts of words, for example, small scale or reformed. Hyphens are very useful as they can help to clarify the meaning of a word or phrase and avoid ambiguity in writing. See if you can find out what ambiguity is by reading the sentence below. Paula decided to resign from her job. Steve resigned his contract. Now, ambiguity means when there is a little bit of doubt about what the meaning of something is. Now on the left, it said Paula decided to resign from her job. Now the word written like that means that she is going to stop working in that job. However, Steve re-signed his contract, which sounds very similar. It means that he might be re-signing a contract to carry on working. So you can see how the two words there sound very similar, but they could be confused by their meaning. Now, sometimes a hyphen can be used to create what we call a compound adjective. Okay, they can be used to link two separate words into a compound adjective before a noun. In other words, a describing word that goes before a noun, a person, place or thing. So we've got the terrier padded across the room on its bear-like paws. You see the bear-like's got a hyphen in, saying that the paws look very bear-like, the paws being the noun. Georgia hung her hot pink coat on the hook. So the hot pink is describing the colour of the coat. Hyphens can also be used to join two nouns together. Ones that are usually of equal importance. So, Dan hung up a skeleton head garland on Halloween. So that creates an adjective to describe the garland. The student teacher taught the children about hyphens. This creates a new noun, in this case a person, student teacher. Sometimes a hyphen is used to avoid awkward letters or sound combinations because they can be quite funny to say if they don't have a hyphen in them. For example, the children seemed incapable of cooperating with each other. The policeman called for help to de-escalate the situation. Now hyphens are often used in this way to join prefixes to words. When the prefix ends and the word starts with a vowel. So on escalate and operating you've got vowels, the O and the E. So the co and the D make the words sound better. They also obviously mean something because they've got a prefix. A hyphen can also clarify a word meaning. Now they can be used to ensure the meaning of a word is clear. Now in these examples, the words could mean very different things without the hyphens being used. Bill requested that the email be resent. Dad decided to repress his shirt as it was still creased. 
Hyphens, as you know, can also be used in numbers. And they can be used to join the tens and units in written numbers from 21 to 99. So, for example, Sam came first in the marathon in which 127 people raced. And you can see the hyphen between the 20 and the 7. There are 32 known species of fish in our school pond. And you see also there's not a gap, only the hyphen between them. The hyphens can also be used to indicate that a word isn't finished at the end of a line of writing. So we've got Fiona thought that the new James Bond film was stupendously enjoyable. Now the L-Y should have gone on the end of that word, but because the person has run out of room at the end of that line, they put a hyphen there to show that the L-Y goes with it. The waiters were asked to provide some light entertainment after the meal. The hyphen can also be used in informal phrases to link words which go together to create a meaning of something. So we've got on the left, the song became a bit of a free-for-all with everyone singing at once. Now that's an informal phrase, free-for-all. And the hyphen's there just to highlight that it goes together to create meaning. The man is an out and out thief. Hyphens can also be used to avoid ambiguity in sentences, which means when we're not really sure what it's saying, they make the meaning of the sentence clearer. Now have a think about these two sentences. There was a man-eating shark in the bay. There was a man-eating shark in the bay. Now they all sound very, very similar. But why is the first sentence ambiguous? How does the hyphen in the second sentence help to make the meaning clear? Well, this is because the second sentence, there was a man-eating shark in the bay. In other words, there was a shark that could eat you in the bay. So you might not want to go swimming that day. However, the top one says, without the hyphen, there was a man-eating shark in the bay. Maybe that man likes to eat shark. Very, very different meanings. Do you think you can remember how to use hyphens to clarify meaning and avoid ambiguity in writing? Complete the helpful hyphens activity sheet to help you practice using those hyphens. I hope you have a great day.